In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I, I believe, believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of the Blessed Mother as the Queen of Heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. 
grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. We ask this through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer them. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Question of all concerned, the following couples are scheduled to receive the sacrament of matrimony. First couple, Ricardo Sabas Jr. of Pineda, Pasig, and Charmaine Mendoza of Alfonso Cavite. Last couple, J. Ross Hernandez of San Antonio, Pasig, and Wendy Rimorin of Bagbaguin, Valenzuela City. If you know of any impediment to these forthcoming marriages, it is your moral obligation to inform our parish priest at once. Thank you. Good morning once again, dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is the second Sunday in Lent. This Mass is also live-streamed on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Our Mass preside is Reverend Father Giorgio Opino. Please all rise. Of my heart has spoken, seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face from me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word that with the spiritual sight made pure, 
we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please all be seated for the liturgy of the word. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son Isaac, your only one, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a holocaust on a height that I will point out to you. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how you devoted you are to God, and since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram and caught it by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Again the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the scars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed even when I said, I am greatly afflicted. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you I will offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. How will he not give us everything else along with him? Who will, be a who will bring charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn? Christ Jesus it is who died, or rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. From the shining cloud, the Father's voice is heard. This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. 
and he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say. They were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. From the cloud came a voice, This is my beloved son, listen to him. Suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the, ma the matter for themsel to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, mother, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. Good morning also to our dear families joining us um, virtually in this Eucharistic celebration. At the start of the Lenten season, once again, we heard three important pillars of Lenten observances, namely um, prayer, almsgiving, and fasting. Year in and year out, we are always reminded of these three pillars, especially fasting. I mean especially fasting because even if every year we celebrate this, we continue to ask, Ano bang pagkain, Father, na pwedeng i-fast? Isda ba o karne? Ah, ganong question. Mother, brothers, and sisters, in the first reading, Abraham was asked by the Lord to sacrifice his son, his only son. At alam po natin sa kwento po ni Abraham, ito po ang isang bagay o regalo na matagal niya na pong hiningi sa akin pong Panginoon. And when the son came, he was asked to sacrifice, to fast, from that person he loved the most. And I think this is also the, the spirit of fasting that we are asked to do, to deny ourselves of the things, persons we love the most for God's sake. Kung ano man po kakainin po natin, karne norte, ay hindi naman po pala masarap ang karne norte sa mga nagda-diet. Anything we want to eat, it's okay. Ang importante po, mga kapatid, is we understand very well what is the spirit of the law? What is the spirit of the teaching about fasting? Noong una po siguro, dapat karne, we fast from, from meat dahil po ang pinakamasarap na pagkain, meat. But nowadays, after listening to our wellness czar sa buhay po natin, hindi po pala masarap ang, masarap ang karne pero po hindi po healthy. Baka hindi na rin po applicable from my point of view lamang po ito, hindi pa po ito teaching ng simbahan. But actually po, mga kapatid, when we, when we fast, we, we, we look for something that we want our, ourselves to be denied with, for God's sake. Because we want God to be at the center of our lives, not the material things, not possession, not wealth, not persons na sumisira sa buhay po natin. And even the Lord Jesus Christ, in, in the second reading, according to St. Paul, God the Father did not even spare His Son to sacrifice His Son for our sake, for His love sa, sa, sa bawat isa po sa atin. He sacrificed His Son. Abraham willingly sacrificed His Son for His love of God. And this is also the spirit of fasting that we are asked to do. Ano po yung mga bagay na pwede po natin i-sacrifice for God? This also, this also the, the, the kind of thing that we need to, to do if we, want, if we want to develop that value of detachment, value of self-denial, value of self-emptying. 
Because as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, we need to detach ourselves from material things. We, not, we need to empty ourselves with material desires, even irregular, ir irregular desires, so that God can dwell in us. The Spirit of the Lord can stay with us. At mahirap po talagang tumira at manahan ang Diyos sa buhay po natin kapag punong-puno po tayo ng mga hinahangad sa buhay, mga material things. We need to turn our back on this earth, on this material world, for us to be able to embrace the heavenly world promised to us by God the Father in heaven. Detachment, fasting, self-emptying is also very important for us to be able to do the second pillar, almsgiving, helping, generous acts. Kaya po, some of us ay nahihirapan pong tumulong o to give up some percentage of their income dahil po we're so attached to it. Kung minsan po nasa bungad na po natin yung taong nangangailangan, ang hirap po bumunot ng bariya sa bulsa dahil sayang naman to. Pinagpawisan ko po ito. Pinaghirapan ko po ito. But then, this is the spirit of, of fasting for us to be able to share God's blessing. After all, whatever we have in our possession ay tinatawag po natin tong stewardship. Ito po ang tinatawag na spirituality of stewardship that everything we have in our possession are simply ipinagkatiwala po sa atin ng atin pong Panginoon so that we are able to share it to other people who are in need sa buhay po nila. So that prayer and um, uh, fasting and almsgiving ay hindi po pwedeng paghiwalayin. Because we can only willingly and generously offer and help other people if we have that spirit of detachment, if we have that spirit of self-emptiness because God suffices. Meron pong isang nakilala po, isang tao na he has already reached the peak of his career. Meron na po siyang maraming ari-arian sa buhay. Meron na po siyang malaking um, investment sa buhay. But after reaching that level of his career, there is still emptiness. There is no satisfaction because the heart, the desire of the heart can never be satisfied with material things. Only God can satisfy the desire of the heart. And so during this Lenten season, we are asked to learn to fast. Not only fasting from... from, from um, palatable food, delicious food, but detachment from things that will hinder us from going closer to God. However, these two can only be done if we have regular union with God. And in today's gospel, the Lord Jesus Christ went again to the mountain, to Mount Tabor, to be in union with His Father. And during this Lenten season, and as we go forward, we need to discover our Mount Tabor, where we can be in union with God, where we can best feel the presence of God. It could be place, it could be the church, it could be the person who can help us feel God's presence, it could be moment of our lives, at yun po ang kailangan po nating babalik-balikan. So that in times of distress, in, in times of, 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 of tribulation, in times of uh, kung kailan po tayo lugmok sa kahinaan at problema, we, find, we go to our Mount Tabor and once again be in union with God who will strengthen us during this journey of ours. And we ask the Lord to bless us. We ask the Blessed Virgin Mary to inspire us. And we ask the intercession of St. Joseph, our spiritual father, na sana po patuloy po nating hangarin na makasama ang Diyos sa buhay po natin. We now stand and profess our faith. We believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, 
suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In Jesus, the Father has shown us what life, with its sorrows and pains, means for us and for our salvation. In our weakness and inability to understand the meaning of suffering, we pray, Lord of light, listen to our prayer. Lord of light, listen to our prayer. Amidst so much materialism and hedonism, may Pope Francis, our bishops, clergy, and consecrated men and women continue to witness the gospel values of poverty and sacrifice, we pray. In a world impatient with discomfort and imperfection, may the Church be a sign that all are pilgrims in this world that is in agony, while waiting for the full revelation of God, we pray. Lord of light, listen to our prayer. May government officials listen to the voice of the poor and the weak, instead of giving in to the demands of the rich and the powerful, we pray. Lord of light, listen to our prayer. May the transfigured Christ inspire us to rise from fear, anxiety, and despair, and transform us into a people of courage, hope, and love, we pray. Lord of light, listen to our prayer. May we grow in the faith and trust that we are not lost in death, but safe with the risen Lord in the hands of the God, we pray. Lord of light, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, touch us with your grace. Looking at your son's transfiguration, may we feel each moment of our lives with great faith and hope in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sisters and brothers, that these are sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples for his coming death on the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the gl glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who, who comes in the name of the, of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, it entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Milo Hubert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you, Spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Communion reminder. Receiving of the Holy Eucharist will be done by row. Our greeters and collectors will give us instructions when to fall in line. If possible, please sanitize your hands prior to lining up for communion. For those participating through our live stream, let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us, while still on earth, to be partakers even now of the things of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. Please all kneel for the Arafa and Parata for protection against the COVID-19. All together, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Roch. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Please all be seated for some parish announcements. Dear family, we would like to appeal to your generous hearts. We will have a second collection for the financial needs of our parish. We hope that you could share your blessings with the church we love, for we must remember that the Lord loves a cheerful giver. You may also send your love offerings and donations through our bank account, or you may send money through our GCash account. Thank you for your continued love, support, and generosity to our parish. To continue, in attending the Mass, please be reminded of the following protocols. Always wear your face mask and face shields even during the Mass. In addition to our contact tracing scheme, we are strictly implementing the No Passing Pass QR Code No Entry Policy pursuant to City Ordinance of the Pasig City Government. Second, as part of our spiritual journey during this Lenten season, we invite everyone to our Via Crucis or Way of the Cross, which will be held on all Fridays of Lent. This will start right after the Mass in our parish church and will also be available on our official social media platforms on Facebook and YouTube. Everyone is requested to leave the church premises after the Mass to give time for our sanitation team to clean and disinfect the church. The exit areas are as follows. The main door of the church, the side door near the mango tree, and the gate located near the parish office. Our greeters and collectors will assist and guide us in leaving the church by a row. Kindly observe physical distancing while leaving the church. And lastly, dear family, we would like to inform everyone that aside from our bank account and GCash account, our Facebook page can now accept monetary assistance through the Facebook STARS program. The STARS program is a monetization tool of Facebook to support the pages that are active and consistently provides new content. You may continue to share your blessings through our parish accounts and also by sending STARS during our live videos. The STARS that you will be sending will help out our media ministry in its continued mission in bringing God closer to our parishioners through social communications. Thank you for your support and generosity. Please all rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow for the blessing. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever, and give them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory 
whose beauty he showed in his own body to the amazement of his apostles. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your actions. Thanks be to God. Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punya Misyon, kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami, Panginoon Kami hahayo Ibang dako, hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod. Inang Maria, siyang gabay na mitugod, lalaganap alab ng iyong misyon. Ibang taong taong biyaya, salamat pang sa iyong punya. Misyon, kaluhok sa aming puso, aming sarili ay aming hango, laging tapat at laging tugon, naririto handa kami, Panginoon. Ang mga kaluhok na aming alay sa mundo, Katarungan, kabanalan, kapayapaan Sa senyal na ito, maniniwala ang mundo Pagmamahal namin sa bawat tao Tapat at laging tukon, narinito handa kami.